Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm going to do a quick review, and if there's uh, any traction, any interest in more information on this device, then uh, we'll do it. Uh, this is the HP NV X360, and this is the Intel Tiger Lake chip, which is the uh, fastest Intel chip that's out. Uh, it has the XE uh, graphics. Uh, this is supposed to be considerably faster than the uh, Ice Lake chipset, the 10th gen one. And so this is supposed to be a pretty fast machine. Uh, I picked this one up at Best Buy. It's 512. It's got a 512 gigabyte uh, hard drive and um, 16 gigs of RAM. And it was a thousand bucks and has the newest processor. It's a convertible two in one. And I'll show that in just a moment. So the keyboard's already included. Uh, stylus is not included, but you can use a couple different ones. And I wanted to go into what this is like for an artist. Is this a viable machine? It is roughly seven to eight hundred dollars less than the Surface Pro Seven with similar specs and an older processor. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Um, my very first thoughts on this was uh, no, it's it's really bad. It's really bad for artists, and uh, I, I will show you. Actually, I'm going to show you with a non-tilt pen. This is the Adana Ink M. Let's pick a pencil. And you can see the lines are okay. Not too bad. A little wobbly. And then let's choose the Surface Stylus, which has tilt. All right. And the R520 stylus, which has tilt and is pretty horrible. Uh, this stylus does not have tilt. You see the lines are a little bit better without tilt. But you can see in here and these lines, these are worse than these. Okay, so whatever. Let's go ahead and look at uh, a couple different programs. So we're in Sketchbook, and obviously pressure is recognized. Uh, you can use the stylus buttons, uh, all those different things. It's pretty snappy. Uh, one of the main reasons that you'd want to go with something like this is because it is faster um, for gaming. and theoretically also for 3D. But the line quality is noticeably worse. Absolutely, absolutely worse. And it does not allow you to adjust pressure. And look how bad that is. This is Leonardo. So, yeah. You can do art, and specific types of art are going to be better. Uh, up here, let's see, I believe we have the option for smoothing. So we'll smooth the line. And we can turn line smoothing higher. Let's turn this up to the very top. Uh, this has a problem also with simultaneous pen and touch. It is supported, but it does not work well. Okay, so here we go. And this is with a full stabilized line. And you can see, obviously, with line stabilization, you can create beautiful lines on most machines. Uh, with it on, it is very difficult to draw small circles. All right, anyway, the takeaway here on this machine is it's faster. 
you can use it for art. It's not a bad option for note takers. Uh, it's light. It's a very pretty looking machine. Uh, for gaming, it is significantly better than the i7 Surface Pro 7. And I will have a gaming, AAA gaming review video coming out soon. Compatibility on the brand new chip is low, which means a lot of things don't work. They're buggy. That will improve as other uh, manufacturers put out devices with the new Intel chip. It's not like it's a uh, unknown brand that will likely not be supported. It'll be supported. So that part I'm not worried about. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into one more drawing program. Let's go into my favorite, just paint tool sigh. And this is okay. And select a brush. And different stylus. And let's pick a different color. I love the way that colors blend in this program. Here you can see the lines actually look okay. So here I'm pulling my palm off of the screen to use simultaneous pen and touch at the same time, but um, I, I'm not sure exactly what's up with that. This is an okay option. It's way more powerful than Surface Go, uh, Surface Go 2. It's more powerful than the Surface Pro i5, the i7. Uh, it's a 1080p screen. It's not 4K. It's um, lower resolution. It does seem to be brighter than the Surface Pro 7. Uh, I read that the nits on this model or a model like this one is around 400. Um, however, I actually think it's brighter than that. And I wasn't able to find anywhere online that talked about this specific model with the 11th gen. So 1165 G7 processor in it. Nothing online. So the actual specs, uh, who knows? Uh, let's go ahead. I'll, I will type in here. Let's, let's type in system information. System information. Just so you can see this. Here it's the HP Envy X360 convertible 13 BD zero X X X eleven sixty five G seven processor and uh, yada yada yada. All right, so uh, this looks like it's saying it has only eight gigs of RAM. I don't think that's correct. Okay, so anyway, uh, that's a quick overview. If this is something that interests you and you want more information on it, then um, please comment below. If you use a tablet, Windows 10 tablet, and you use a stylus or you want to use a stylus, this is a great channel for you, so please subscribe. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.